Welcome to the Phil Davidson Show. The former Vietnam veteran and currently practicing attorney Phil Davidson presents entertaining guests and short features from his novel Dreamer. And now, here is Phil Davidson. It did feel good. He could feel the ooziness of the rice water inside his jungle boots and the trickling rainwater flowing inside his tiger fatigues, uninhibited by useless underwear. His web gear was hooked securely across his back and chest and carried everything he needed to survive in the jungle, knife, first aid pouch, flashlight, and grenades. His canteen was half full, and his webley was resting securely in its holster. Across his chest was strung his faithful car 15, still awaiting his command. He had forgotten how good it felt to be on a battlefield. Keaton, he turned over. Keaton was too old for this now. Why was he here? Keaton, even above the incessant drone of the rain, he could hear Keaton's labored breathing. He sliced his way heavily to the end of the formation where Keaton was guarding their rear. As he squatted down breathlessly beside him, Keaton's rock face turned, and he spoke. Dawi. Keaton's voice was deep and gravelly. After he spoke, he coughed and spit. How are you holding up, Sergeant, he asked, getting his wind. My ranger tab's keeping me warm, Keaton said under his breath. Yeah. Can you see anything out there, he asked, squinting into the rain. They can't be too far behind. My guess is they're fanning out, hoping to get a scent or hear something. Jude's been talking to himself, he said, dropping his head. Dawi, I didn't know, Keaton said as if trying to explain, but he stopped him. It's not your fault. It's nobody's fault, he said evenly, trying to meet, not to meet Keaton's eyes. No, it's my fault, he thought. I'm their leader. I'm responsible for everything. Then he returned his attention to the moment. How far away you guess the jungle is, he asked. Not far. Suddenly... Race, red tracer rounds flew over their heads like a swarm of mad hornets. Then followed the sound of <clears throat> random drum roll like burst. He chuckled and Keaton, <clears throat> Keaton coughed again. They're reconning by fire. They don't know where we are, Keaton said with a raspy laugh, hoping, hope evident in his voice. Let's don't let them get lucky, he quipped. <clears throat> Let's get moving. He made his way back to the head of the formation and, grabbing Forrest by his arm, said, Help Jake carry him. Forrest and Jake lifted Jude by the shoulders and, with the rest of the men, followed him into the gray mist that had begun to rise off the rice paddy water. Behind them, not far, fierce warriors pursued, men with different moralities, different truths, different needs, men who had forsaken emotion and inhibition, men who understood the meaning of sacrifice, men who would stop at nothing until they'd kill them all. Another swirl of brilliant tracer rounds licked across the sky. Faster, he thought frantically. I must go faster. He quickened the pace, but when he looked back over his shoulder, he couldn't see his men. Their lives depended on his ability to read a compass and their ability to keep up with him. It was easy to become lost, even this close. Where were they? Two flares lit up a patch of rice paddy to his left about a mile away. Got to go faster. No, he stopped. Jake, force. Then he heard sloshing and breathing. There, yes, there they were. Over here, he said plaintively. The sloshing stopped. Two more flares lit up the horizon to his right. It's all right, the boy said softly in the darkness. He hurt. He no longer had any feeling in his feet and legs, and his back throbbed with a deep pain. I've got to get control of it. The hurt, the pain, the exhaustion. I'm their officer, he thought resolutely. No matter how bad it gets, I'm their officer. You have been listening to the Phil Davidson Show. For questions or comments about today's program, you may visit Phil on his website, dreamernoveltalk.com. That's dreamernoveltalk.com. His Blog Talk Radio address is blogtalkradio.com backslash Phil Davidson. Thank you so much for joining us this week on the program, and we look forward to seeing you next time on The Phil Davidson Show.